Hey guys, how's it going? Ownage here and welcome to another F1 2014 career mode. It's time for round 3 and it's the Bahrain Grand Prix, uh, Grand Prix here at night. So uh, yeah, a little bit special. Obviously this track, uh, well, you used to uh, drive uh, in the daytime around this track, but this time it's going to be nighttime as we get strapped into our car steering wheel on the car there. So it's uh, the practice session here and well, let's get a little bit of a feeling for it. The two compounds here for this weekend are medium and soft and well I do uh, usually like the softer compounds a little bit more than the harder uh, the harder one uh, harder ones so uh, well pretty much straight away from practice session we're putting in some good lap times uh, has to be said and in the end Ricciardo said a 136.5 and I got a second there with uh, well four tenths off him not too bad considering the Red Bull, Red Bull is pretty quick and I definitely was not running at my maximum at the moment so I was doing a prime stint pretty much, um, then well about 7-8 laps into that prime stint the tires did start to, uh, to fall off. So yeah there was uh, a point where they fell off uh, quite a bit actually. They, um, I still try to do different setups um, but I didn't really see an improvement so I went with uh, well, the setup I, I already used before. So currently we're in 8th position behind Vettel and in front of Raikkonen. And halfway, about halfway through the session, we were in tenth, with Hamilton topping the timesheets there with a 135.9. But some people actually went on options already, and I think Hamilton is one of them, as uh, with about well 15 minutes to go, we went on option this time. So let's see how much of a time advantage that is, because we have seen quite a big difference between the prime tire and the option tire all uh, well career mode long, pretty much. So let's see if uh, we have the same story here in Bahrain. Um, that first sector there is pretty tricky, especially sec uh, the uh, second corner. Very hard to put the power down and uh, get no wheel spin, so it's going to be hard to look after the tires, especially the rear tires in um, in the race. So what I did for practice, I didn't want to go you know, flat out and show everything I've got. That's usually what you do in practice, you know, uh, what, what you don't do in practice. So um, yeah, I went mi mix uh, three for the first sector, then mix two in the middle until the uh, second DRS zone which we're coming up right now. This corner here, these two corners are very very important for your lap time. You re really want to get them right, have a good exit, then open up your DRS and as we can see they're going to mix free again for the rest of the of the lap. So definitely not my best at the moment, uh, but, but yeah, we'll see where it, uh, where it puts us. If we want to beat Hamilton, we have to uh, beat our 136.9 by over a second, which is quite a bit. But oh, we're purple actually already, uh, about two one hundredths of a second uh, quicker than Hamilton. So wow, we're not doing too bad at all as we uh, are going to finish uh, our lap. Remember that we are carrying quite a quite a bit of fuel as well. We're definitely not uh, on a low fuel run here. I think we're six or five laps in the in the tank. So here we go, opening up the ears. Let's see where it puts us. 36.0 third place behind the Mercedes. So, well, not bad at all for Toroso, is it? A little bit later, tried to push a little bit more. The tires were gripping very, very well. Three tenths up in the first sector on our previous time, and about a tenth up on Hamilton. A little bit later than in the second sector, we kept on extending that gap. It's now again three tenths, but also three tenths down on Hamilton. So, as I said, we are looking very good here in our Toro Rosso. 35.7 is good enough for uh, first position in um, well, in front of the Mercedes guys. A little later then I went for it again. Tried to uh, build up the pace, tried to push uh, more uh, more lap after lap. And currently three of us down then on this lap at the moment. But let's see how we can do in this middle sector here. This middle sector is important. As I said, these two corners here are crucial for the lap time. Break late, I break a little bit too late there as you can see. I locked up a little bit and missed my apex. Still not too bad though, because my exit speed was um, well was decent enough, I guess, for this long straight here. I mean, it's very important to get a good exit out of that slow left hander because the because of the straight leading uh, leading up to the next corner. Then let's see our second sector, and it's better actually. Look at that one uh, ten up now again on our well own uh, time because we are in first position. A little bit unusual for us obviously in that Toro Rosso, but hey, we're not looking bad at all. Final corner here, braking late, get it to turn in. Hit the apex there, that was pretty sweet on the power. A little bit of wheel spin, as you saw there. And then opening up the DRS. So here we go, 135.5, another, uh, well, half a, half a tenth up. 
uh, in the final sector and actually we were first in the practice results very very um, well very good to see obviously our teammate was all the way down in 14th place so it looks like the a AI is either slow or I am uh, quick um, no idea uh, anyway we are uh, first position but obviously it's only practice and uh, in qualifying well, it matters a lot more where you finish of course in a session so here we go this is qualifying we get strapped into our car once more so well a very good uh, practice session has to be set got uh, quite a bit of uh, data as well I'm very confident with the setup I'm currently running I went with a pretty low downforce setup I don't think I'm going to show it in this video but in the race I'm always showing my setup I'm using so Q1 then I went out on the option this time uh, I didn't want to go and take the risk go on to medium and uh, well I have to do another run on the, on the soft because uh, yeah there's about a second difference to so pick up a little bit of slipstream from Raikkonen there it's quite a bit of a difference between the option and prime tire about a second that is quite a bit so Q1 lap again not pushing at my maximum I even went to mix two for this sector here it's all about advancing to Q2 obviously and I think the first yeah the, the, the top 16 actually advances to uh, Q2 as I had the dive bomb there on the inside of I believe it was Chilton was a little bit in the way there but nevertheless it should be enough to get into the top 16 shouldn't it look at that neatly uh, knitted, hit at the apex there it was very good very close to that bollard picking up a little bit of slipstream for our uh, from our teammate as we uh, go into turn 11 I think this is um, yeah I think it is 11 into 12 and then turn 13 let's see how we're doing at the second sector our time will be measured to Sutil 1.1 seconds up to, uh, to Sutil who's currently at that cutoff point with a uh, let's have a look with a 130 come on update 136.9 so yeah we should be able to be that we did 35s uh, remember in the practice session so should be able to be that here we go hopefully this will be uh, good enough and I can go into the pitch save some tires here we go the air is wide open 135.9 puts us up in seventh place at the moment but uh, that's not what matters all the f all the well the thing that matters is that we are into Q2 uh, 10th spot in the end with our teammate advancing to Q2 as well in 13th place a good day for Toro Rosso so far. Ricciardo in the end though managed to uh, top the sheets with a 134.5 so they got in the 34s and uh, well that, that, that disappointed me a little bit because I'm not gonna lie I had good hopes after the practice session and uh, well seeing then that the AI goes into the 34s that is a very good lap time of course I, as I said I haven't shown what I what I really can do my maximum yet in the practice but still I don't think I can get in the 34s as Hamilton did a 133.7 so the AI really picked up the pace as we are going to start our option lap right now I think we only have a uh, few for one lap so here we go indeed few for one lap let's see how we can do so we approach the first corner here breaking pretty light a little bit missing the apex there keeping in second bit of host here on the exit this is the corner here you want to nail um, that was uh, that was okay ish could have gone better though so that's some wheel spin on the exit as we head down into turn four I believe this is break just after the one on the meter board and hit the apex there there we go get on the throttle which is pretty uh, pretty hard I must uh, say um, pretty hard to put the power down without getting wheel spin uh, currently one and a half tens up on our teammate Vern who is uh, in that cutoff point but there are still people yet to set their lap time as so we see a red bull behind us I believe and <laughs> he is actually quicker than us so we're holding him up but we shouldn't pay uh, attention to him in our mirrors we should focus on our own lap as a break too late into turn 10 locking up a little bit could have been worse though but definitely uh, well my, my speed here down this straight definitely got compromised so we now break just before the 15 meter board down to fourth gear you can go to third gear just to turn the front end in but I don't do it in qualifying May, uh, might be uh, doing that in the race to get the front end to turn in but I don't feel like uh, doing it in qualifying then second sector we are seven tenths down on Raikkonen who's actually in front of us and middle in the middle of the racing line as I hit him and lost a little piece of my front wing that was interesting I thought that Raikkonen would move over to the right hand side but he kept on the racing line and then we hit him with our front wing so that's the lap uh, spoiled and uh, we head back into the pits so let's try to do it again but currently Perez in 10th is the cut off point with a 135.0 so I need to do the absolute maximum to advance to Q3 and even Bottas now 134.6 
It doesn't look like I can manage to get it to Q3, but nonetheless, I'm gonna give it a shot here. Try to do my best as DRS is open. I'm going to do a full lap now, which is fully on rich mixture, and let's see where we end up then. So remember, we did one, uh, 135.5 in the practice session. Let's see if we can beat it here. Down to turn one. Shift down to second gear. That was a little bit better. A bit of oversteer though on the exit. That was not great. A bit more oversteer on corner entry there. Could have taken a little bit more speed through turn two. So we head down to turn four once more. You see up uh, on the mid map you can see three cars in front of us. Don't know if they are on the lap. I do hope so. Otherwise they might held us up. It doesn't look like the car ahead of us is actually on the lap. So hopefully it gets out of the way. So we complete the first sector. And we don't get an update on where we are in terms of left time. It's a Ferrari in front of us, it's Alonso. He does move out of the way though. As we go a little bit deep here. Could have been worse though. You, you generally want to take it a little bit deep. It's just the nature of the corner really. Down to turn 10 here, take a lot of speed. And into turn 9, breaking for turn 10. That was pretty good, carried a lot of speed there. Hit the apex, got early on the throttle. Down the straight now. Rounding up the, the second sector pretty much here, still two corners to go. One of them it is right hand here, break before the, uh, before the 50 meter board there. Could have taken a little bit more speed into that corner, couldn't I? Looked a little bit slowish as this uh, corner here, this right hander is flat out. The second sector now is finished as we approach the final sector. Break a bit too late there, missed my apex as we see the Sauber this time up ahead. This time not going to drive behind him because when you go and uh, drive behind the AI cars they does seem it does seem like they get uh, a little bit confused and weave all over the place. So I'm not going to do that. Final corner there. Early on the throttle, but not really the best racing line. Let's see what kind of lap time we can put in. DRS is wide open. It's going to be a 135.8. So, three tenths off what we have done in practice. And that is remarkable, isn't it? If we uh, managed to, um, to get the same lap time as we did in practice, we would have been in our teammate. But our teammate is actually in front of us, as we see here by the results. And uh, we were two tenths down on it, so remarkable that it couldn't improve, even though it was a lap on the rich mixture. Anyway, I hope to see you guys in the race as well. These are the final results. Hamilton got uh, first place and so pole position. If you have enjoyed the video, I would appreciate a like. And that is pretty much it. See you in the race.